everybody. This is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles bringing you another exciting video. I am still fighting the COVID, but I'm getting better every day. I just want to thank everyone for your well wishes and positive vibes. It's December here in New York and the holidays are upon us. So I thought I'd share a Bling on the Bobbles video series, which highlights my holiday beauties. And in this case, it's Christmas tree brooches. This video will also highlight a Bronx Bobble Tale book review. And the book I will be reviewing is called Christmas Tree Pins, Oh Christmas Tree by Nancy Yunker Trowbridge. I started collecting Christmas tree brooches in the last two years. I've always shied away from starting this collection because I knew that once I got started, I'd become obsessed. And yes, I became obsessed. I normally found these beauties in the summertime. And all of these brooches cost in the range of $4.99 to $7.99. I have so many Christmas brooches. Some are in the shape of trees, some are Santas, gift boxes, holiday bows, and a partridge in a pear tree. But what is exciting about these Christmas tree brooches in this video is that all of these brooches appear in the book Christmas Tree Ben's Old Christmas Tree. They are considered book pieces, and I have 11 of them to show you. So let's just get this video started. Started. This first brooch is a vintage Avon brooch. It's a Christmas tree made of bows with six Aurora Borealis stones and gold tone metal. This brooch was made in 1978 and I believe it might be the first in the Avon Christmas tree brooch collection. I have several Avon Christmas tree brooches. Some are very expensive and highly collectible, but this was the only one that appeared in this book. Here's a surprising little gem of a Christmas tree. It is made with green and white rhinestones with a tiny red stone for a stump. It's an unmarked Eisenberg scatter brooch. This is a teeny tiny adorable brooch that's under one inch tall. According to the book, this tiny tree brooch can sometimes be connected by a tiny chain and was marked on the card it came on. Here is a fabulous Monet Christmas tree brooch that is made in a shiny gold tone in a zigzag design with rhinestones that go up into a graduated style right up to the top of the tree with a round clear crystal stone as a star and also a clear crystal stone on the tree stump. Very modernized holiday brooch. This is a super cute J&J &J Christmas tree brooch that uses multiple tiny colored stones in red, blue, yellow, and green with small gold balls textured around the tree in a garland swag motif. J&J &J made many varieties of Christmas tree brooches that are very affordable and highly collectible. Here is another fabulous J&J &J Christmas tree brooch. This one has a green wash and jagged edges on the branches and stump. It has six colored stones in red, yellow, and blue. It is super cute from the 1950s through the 1960s. And I purchased this brooch just last week. Check out this great Milo Christmas tree brooch. This brooch has stylized, textured, and delicate leaves that peek out of the branches with a tall stump. It has sweet green and blue rhinestone balls. This is one of the taller brooches at almost three inches tall. I have several Milo Christmas holiday themed brooches in the form of an angel and jingle jangle bells. Super cute. Here is another gorgeous Milo Christmas tree brooch that uses both Aurora Borealis rhinestones and pearl balls to great effect. It's a simple but very sparkly brooch. This brooch style is used with many different stone configurations and colors. Great for collecting. Here is one of my favorite Christmas tree brooches. It's made with 14 frosty milky white Nevet snowstones, having that winter wonderland look to it. This is a Napier brooch and earring set. It is so hard to find the matching earrings to these holiday pieces. 
In this case, the earrings are marked Napier, but the Christmas brooch was not. This particular brooch is featured in two separate books, the Christmas Tree Old Christmas Tree book, as well as the Napier Co. book by Melinda Lewis. Super excited to have this fabulous set in my collection and highly collectible. Wow, what a stunner. This is a Joseph Warner Christmas tree brooch. This is an unusual Christmas tree that looks more like a chandelier. This is the brooch that started my Christmas tree brooch collection. It has 40 multicolored rhinestone garland in emerald green, red, and with green rhinestone for the tree base. Super cool. This is a book piece that is featured in two Christmas books, including Costume Jewelry 101 by Julia C. Carroll and Christmas Tree or Christmas Tree Book. Just fabulous. Last but certainly not the least, the piece de resistance, the wise Christmas tree brooch. This is a six candle brooch. I purchased this brooch last year at a thrift store for $7.99. I was super excited. This is a highly collectible Christmas tree brooch in that you can collect the three candles, four candle, five candle, and six candle Weiss brooches, the six being the largest. This also comes as an unmarked Czechoslovakian brooch that is very similar to the Weiss Christmas tree brooch and just as collectible and almost as expensive, but unmarked. The book Christmas Tree Pin, Oh Christmas Tree, is a must for any Christmas tree brooch collector. What I love about this book is all the fabulous pictures that were clear and lovely to look at. But what I loved the most was the way the author categorized the pictures based on the designer. It's very well organized and easy to use as a resource. She gives a short summary of the designer and provides dates of operation. I even found information on designers for some of my other unidentified brooches. Super resourceful. This book really turned up my juices to find more of these fabulous brooches in the wild and further fueled my new obsession. A must for any book collector to add to their jewelry book collection. Just be warned that the book will ignite the hunt to find more holiday treasures out in the wild. You've been warned. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoy watching this video. I had so much fun putting it together and finding my pieces in the book was the best. If you enjoy this content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me grow and get this information out there to the rest of the Vintage Costume Jewelry Tribe. Don't forget to like my videos. And the best part is when you leave me a comment. Right, I write back to each and every one of you. My subscribers are the best. Love you guys so, so much. So with that, hugs and kisses, everyone. Ciao! Here we go! I think I made it.